Bischoff, open this gate. An entire class of U.S. Soviet nuclear missiles is eliminated. Means that the era of nuclear disarmament has begun. We will stay the course and we will succeed. Denying that? We have discussed what it already. What more do you want, Livingston? Enough! You disobeyed a direct order, Mr. Marshall, when it was clear your op was compromised. With all due respect, sir, you weren't there. And the group that compromised you, the Pantheon. You sure that's who they were? That's what Alawi called them. When are you gonna tell us what's really going on here? I'm asking the questions, Mr. Woods. Sir, if you read the report, you can... I read your report, Ms. Harrow. Some of it I still find hard to believe. That's why we're going to go over events again. Only this time, I want to hear it from Marshall. From the beginning. We were in position near the Iraq-Kuwait border. Small team, me, Harrow, and Case. <laughs> Allow he is ahead of schedule. Whoever he's meeting won't wait around for long. No, not if it's a smuggler. I'm sure Allow has paid top dollar to get himself out of the Middle East. Guess it doesn't really matter. He's coming with us. Outlaw 42, we've got our eyes on the convoy. Paying the target, over. Roger, ground. Target confirmed. Waiting on your go. Over. Do it. Outlaw 42, you're clear to engage. Out. Let's go get him. Copy, ground. Engaging an hour. Here comes the traffic jam. get this straight, Mr. Marshall. The group you claim to be the Pantheon was a multinational, heavily armed paramilitary force that showed up out of the blue. At this point, you're told to wait for backup, but you decide to play cowboy instead. We had to act fast. Our window Ms. was Harrow, closed. did he or did he not disobey your order? Yes, sir, but the accelerated timetable made... That's what I thought. I've come to expect this from you. Not from you. Sir, our objective was to recover Alawi by any means necessary. Oh, I'm aware. So, care to explain why he's on a slab in the morgue right now? Things got complicated. Anything else to add? Sir, despite breach of conduct and losing Alawi, apprehending Russell Adler is a categorical windfall. Yes, Ms. Harrow. Bringing in a rogue operative is certainly a win. Russell Adler, the mole who betrayed us in Panama, the man responsible for your current condition, Mr. Woods. So why was he trying to tell you something in Kuwait? Bishop takes Rook. Any idea what that means? No clue. OK, then. Based on Harrow's reluctant report and the withholding of critical information regarding Russell Adler, 
Your team is suspended. Are you for real? This is bullshit. As for you, Miss Harrow, consider yourself on very, very thin ice. People like me and Adler are the reason we ain't speaking Russian right now. The Cold War is over, Mr. Woods. That makes you and Russell Adler the last global gunslingers of a bygone era. Take this time to reflect on that. Dismissed. All of you. My office in five. I'd advise you not to pursue this further, Marshal. I can't believe you kept him. Not all reminders need to be scars. <clears throat> Why are we here, Harrow? Because you know something? Care to tell me what it is you're up to? Me and the kids just need some time away. You know, take a little trip. Reflect a little. Look, I can cover your asses on my end best I can. But if things go sideways again, you're on your own. Copy that. Oh, you one. One? Yeah. Try a dozen. Do me a favor, Troy. Don't get yourself killed. I'll see what I can do. Bishop takes Rook. Of course, Woods knew what it meant. Adler was pointing us somewhere. The Black Sea. According to Woods, 15 years ago, he and Adler discovered an abandoned KGB safe house in Bulgaria. It was called the Rook. Last year, before Adler disappeared, he'd been chasing rumors of a dangerous paramilitary group on receiving orders from inside the CIA. He believed the Pantheon was developing a new type of weapon with plans to unleash something the world had never seen before. And wouldn't you know it, soon evidence surfaced incriminating Adler himself, and he fled to this place. What we found here over the last couple days has changed everything. Now I'm questioning what I believed about Adler, about Livingston, about the CIA itself. I have my doubts about going dark on Jane. Woods might be right about her value on the inside, but she'll be in the crosshairs if Langley learns what we're up to. Adler brought us here for a reason, to stop the Pantheon before they strike. To do that, Woods believes we'll need him back. That won't be easy. But Adler left a name to follow. It's a good place to start. Adler didn't leave much intel on Savati Dumas, but I can tell you a thing or two about Avalon. It's a playground for the filthy rich, and crime factions run the whole city. Everyone's looking for who to push off the slide. When they pick a target, they hire someone like Savati. She used to be part of the Guild, one of the most powerful Avalon factions, but now she freelances. Savati said that Adler hired her to follow a Pantheon trail. So you're gonna join her on that job tonight. We wanna see firsthand where that trail leads. Maybe we'll even add some muscle to the team. You'll scratch her back, but sure as hell watch your own. Trust has gotta be earned. Got word from Case. Savati Dumas agreed to join us at the Rook, so we're two for two. I'm returning from Munich with Felix Newman. Newman's cut from a different claw, a brutal Stasi enforcer and a tech genius. He used to be a pain in the CIA's ass. That was before he gave the middle finger to the Stasi and defected to West Germany. Newman claims he's moved on from a life of violence and doesn't even arm himself anymore. One way or the other, he couldn't turn down a chance to stick it to the CIA once again. He'll get that opportunity soon. 
He's gonna try to break into Langley's network and find out where they're holding Russell Adler. A branch of the DC tunnel system houses the black site, which according to the schematics that I um, borrowed, has an entrance directly beneath Capitol Station. The black site holding Adler is secured by a retinal scan. We won't have access, at least not anymore. We have an opportunity, though, if we move fast. This Saturday night, the station is hosting a political event. Take it, Felix. Interestingly, one of the event's attendees, a Senator Jack McKinna, has security clearance to the black site. We only need a high-resolution image of his eyes to get past the retinal scanner. I'm working on something for that. So we're gonna show up to this fundraiser, get what we need from the Senator, then grab Adler from the black site before anyone knows what's happened. Sounds simple enough. Don't you think? This is Arrow. It wasn't us. Try. They hit the place before we got through the door. Tore it apart. Jesus, Troy, you're talking about Capitol Station? It is all hands on deck here. What the hell happened? We busted Adler out. You broke into a CIA black site to free Russell Adler. Are you out of your mind? Something's going on, Jane. Something big. Okay, Adler was right. The agency is compromised. You sure it's not Adler? No, but the guys that hit the black site? They weren't friends of his. What guys? It was the Pantheon. Same group that showed up out of nowhere in Kuwait. There's no way that they can know about the black site unless someone inside the CIA is feeding them intel, someone higher. Is it Livingston? Maybe. Listen, Troy, they are pinning the attack on you, all of you. Woods, Case, Adler, you're on Interpol's most wanted list. Red notices all around. Yeah, I got the picture. I can help. No, it's better if you're insulated from any blowback. Spare me tonight in shining armor shit, Troy. You want to help? Keep digging. Look into Livingston. Okay, let me see what I can do. Thanks. And Jane. Yeah. Don't trust anyone. The palace we're after is in western Iraq, Syrian desert. There's a complication. Desert storm. Coalition forces launched the operation two weeks ago against Saddam Hussein. They're taking out as many strategic targets from the air as possible. They haven't destroyed the palace yet, but that's about to change. British SAS forces are on the ground hunting mobile scud launchers, and they've marked our palace for massive aerial bombing. That can't happen. We don't know what Pantheon's hiding in the bunker under the palace. If it's destroyed, we lose the trail. I reached out to an old collaborator of mine at MI6 for a favor. She pressured the SAS to delay their airstrike, but it'll come at a cost. We're gonna pose as Delta Force operatives so this Helen Park can get us to the front. Then we're gonna help the SAS clean up those scud launchers. After that, the palace is ours. Jackal 2! We're getting into this palace fast and getting out faster. Once you do the necessary, we're wiping it off the map. Roger that, Jack One. We're not sticking around for tea. <laughs> Probably dreadful anyway. We're looking for a bunker. Our best guess is that we can access it on the far side of the ground. We'll see you through. After that, it's up to Talon One to lift us all out in one piece. That's my preference. So let's get to it then. We're nearly there. Pantheon has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goosey, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into?
Adler believed the Pantheon gained access to a military research facility called Advanced Technologies and Applications. Sounds impressive. It's located in eastern Kentucky. The building is marked as cost for solutions on the surface. Underneath, there's a whole different story. This place looks pretty remote. Nothing but forests and hills. We should park a few miles out, hike the rest of the way in. Once we're inside, our target is the biotechnology wing. Adler thinks that's where the cradle may have come from. We need some answers on what this thing does. Didn't you say Adler worked there at some point? Briefly, about 10 years ago. He mentioned unusual classified programs there using human subjects. And suddenly the place was shut down and quarantined after a biohazard incident. The cradle. It's sure looking that way. Hey. Something you should see. No popcorn? I'm serious. Well, you got my attention. <laughs> You cracked the disc. Indeed. No, 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 no. You must make sure that... Yes, you have it. Ready, Dr. Gusev? Bring her in. Subject 18 has been infected with the cradle. She's now in proximity to our control subject. Transmission should occur momentarily. It's a biological weapon. You know this already. Keep watching. Faster this time? Faster, yes. And more aggressive, as requested. Wonderful. Isn't that your friend? Harold? You did it. Apparently so. Turn it off. I still a few more minutes. I said turn it off! B-24, it turns out, refers to a safe deposit box contained within the Casino Lutazzi's archive room. As for the wire mentioned on the disc, I assume the Pantheon is funding their research through laundered casino money. Whatever's in that box, my money says it points us right to Gusev. That's the hope. So we're gonna blow open their vault, but it's not the cash we're after. Inside the vault is the only place I can override the archive room's security. And while the Lutazis are distracted by her heist, Case is gonna infill the archive room and find the box. Even getting close to that room will be tough. Not if Casino Security escorts Case right into the wing containing the archive room. Where they usually question persons of interest. Case is going to get captured on purpose. Precisely. It's dangerous. And it's gonna take all five of us to pull it off. Starting with me at the high roll of tape. When a big there sets our whole plan into motion. We'll be ready. I know you will. Let's find out what the Pantheon's hiding in that casino. We went through everything inside that box from the casino's archive room. 
Seven Felix were right. The Tatsis were moving Pantheon cash through the casino. The healthy cut in return. We got the breakthrough we needed. Records of wire transfers to a lab in southern Iraq, directed to Matt V. Gusev. We notify Adler so he can take a look on the ground. Time is short, but if we can get our hands on the Pantheon's bioweapon expert, we just might break this whole thing open. Captain Sims. Not now. Figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? Not what I expected. I left Langley because of you. Remember that, don't you? Central Command, huh? It's above the table. Unambiguous. Maybe you should give it a try. <laughs> no, no, it's a little late for me. So can you get us to Gusev? I can get you close. But, Doc, this is it for me. I'm on a different path now. Once you get what you need, I'm out. It's the second time I've heard that this week. Lord, give me strength. Get your crew. Leave them five. Kratos in Vorkuta, the Pantheon will have that base well defended. We'll approach at low altitude, land a few miles out. The next phase is all you said. So, hike to the base perimeter for infiltration. After that, find the Pantheon uniform to blend in. No problem. Right up your alley. Once inside, scout out the base. We need to know what defenses they have and whether there's anything you can do to weaken them. The saboteur. I think I might enjoy this. Once their defenses are down, the rest of us can move in. Then we'll need to find and secure the cradle. You ready for this? Let me at them. We're on our way home, and I can feel a giant guillotine hanging over our heads. When it drops, it's anyone's guess. Who is this person we're bringing back? Won't say a word. She's got that I know something you don't smirk on her face. I used to think it was cute, amusing. Maybe I should have seen this coming. She was changing and I wasn't changing with her, but I, I couldn't tell the difference. I just can't wrap my head around this. The motivation. She was a patriot, followed in her parents' footsteps. They were both CIA too. They were her inspiration, believed in the mission. She'd never let them down. So what am I missing? Jane. Jane, there. What is this? Had the cause of separation. Just relax. <laughs> relax? <laughs> um... Try. What is it? Talk to me. No. Um. I don't want to do this. No. Harrow. Harrow! I'm here. Stay with me. We gotta keep going. Yes. The situation with your parents is fucked. I get it. But I need answers. Now. I'm trying. Try harder. Your buddies are knocking on the door. It's all connected. The murders. 
the killer. What about the killer? <sighs> I'm getting there. Time's up, Harold. Where is Pantheon releasing the cradle? I can't remember. You've got to. She's... Oh, I'm, I'm losing control. Fight. You gotta hold on just a little longer. Cradles in Washington, D.C., the Capitol building. They're just waiting on my word to release it. Jesus Christ. That's 5,000 miles from here. It's awful. Everyone within blocks of the Capitol will be infected. Why? Because Livingston's head will roll for an intelligence failure of this magnitude. Failure to stop an attack on our capital. An attack using a CIA-funded bioweapon, no less. And someone else will take his place. You. Me. The Pantheon will finally control the institution that cast them out. I'm fading, Frank. You have to stop them. Stop me. We may have one last card to play. Thanks for coming. You getting medals or concrete boots? Neither. But I can start with an apology. Damn straight. I'm not sure how you pulled it off, but it's not lost on me that you prevented one of the greatest catastrophes of our time. So you want us back? Something like that. Can we trust one another? Working on it. Right now you have something of great value. Anonymity. You're in the shadows. No shit. We've always been in the shadows. Not like this. Your reach is greater than it's ever been. We need you, Woods. All of you. I can provide whatever you need. Accommodations, resources, cash, additional manpower. All of it off the books. I thought the Cold War was over. No more need for, uh, what was it? Global gunslingers. Yes. The Cold War may be over, but the world is more dangerous than it's ever been. The nature of our enemy is unclear now. What do you want us to do about it? What you've always done. Protect us. Harrow may be gone, but not the Pantheon. I need you back in Avalon. You think you're still a threat? I do. And worse. Whatever Cabal brought Harrow into the Pantheon still lives inside our house. We thought they were long gone. But it turns out, they never left.